three, two, one. Mal on a very different performance on Saturday and a very different result. Yeah, um, you know, one it's a much needed win really. Um, you know, we got back in the top three and you know Saturday's performance, you know, in the position we were in, it wasn't good enough at all, you know, end of um, um but you know, it's kind of gave us a kick up the backside and we we knew what we had to do today and you know we got off to a good start and you know we did what we had to do in the game and you know coming to pace like South and you know we knew how tough it was last year coming in. So um you know, we had a point to prove here and you know a bit of revenge to gain and you know we did that today. And how difficult was it you for you to come back into the team? Um not difficult at all. Um you know maybe the first game uh the first game was on the bench was it Bristol Rovers, yeah that was a bit more difficult but you know apart from that it's 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 been you know business as usual really. Um pleased to come on, on Saturday. Um you know, did what I had to do and you know, got the nod from the gaffer um, you know, yesterday, had a good training session and you know, I just wanted to get back playing football and you know, kinda of stamp my authority and, and give my all and you know, give my um, ability to Cheltenham and you know, I think we did that today as a team. Uh, the fans are absolutely raving on the tech sign uh, tonight about your performance. Do you think you had a good game? Um, yeah, I, I'm I, like I said, I'm I'm my own biggest critic and uh, this year I, I haven't been as good and I've known when I've done well and when I haven't then you know, I think if you're a player, you should know that yourself. And you know, I'm happy with the way I'm happy with the way I played today. Obviously, I got the goal. Um, could have had another one, and that was it. I enjoyed playing it in there with um, Jay, um, but I wasn't, I wasn't, that, um, I wasn't as the deepest one as such. Um, and I got up and down the pitch quite, quite well as well, which I was pleased with, and it's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, and considering I ain't played in four games, and I was, I was happy with a run out. Yeah. And. Uh Yourself and Judge Taylor and um, Russell Penn seem to get that midfield working really well tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's quite different. Um, after the Degnan game, I didn't really know where the gaff was going to go. And, you know, to be honest, I thought you may have played the three of us in there and played a uh, four-five-one, which you know has done us well in the past. But um, we worked it on it yesterday, and you know we done a little keep ball session and uh, kind of shape them. You know, it, it worked well in there. We, we had a good understanding. And, you know, it's kind of a bit unfair to Russell going to get drifted out there, but you know he had a good performance tonight. So, um, you know, luckily it's, it, it has worked well tonight, and you know it's it's pulled off, and we we got the three points. And a wonderfully nonchalant penalty, if I may say so, just um, stroked it in. Yeah, um, I wanted it. Um, as soon as I got the pen, and you know, when else did? Um, probably a bit more pressure on me, you know, cause, because of the situation, of course. But you know, I wanted the penalty. I wanted to score. Um, didn't really know where the keeper was going to go, so I kind of think made his mind up to him and pretended I was going the other way. But I just placed it in the other side, and you know, luckily it went in, and you know, it, was a, it was a good start for us. And uh, you just had your manager out saying that um, he really would rather he didn't go anywhere else. Well, that's up to him. He's, he, you know, he's, he's in charge. Um, he, he had a brief word with me yesterday, and like I said, I've said in the before, I'm still a Cheltenham Town player, so uh, that's as far as I'm aware. And. You know, I played today, gave my all, and you know, I continue to do that. And, and can you put your finger on how it is that a team can be so disappointing one day, like a Dagenham, and then be, you know, resilient and excellent tonight? Um, obviously, it was clear on where we went wrong Saturday. Um, I know we played a lot of direct play ball today, but I think it was a different kind of game. You know, we got the ball down when we could play, and you know, try to keep the game going, but. No, I didn't think there were no disrespect to them. They looked a bit nervous at the back today. So um, sometimes you've got to exploit those um, those weaknesses. Um, it happens. Um, you know, we've seen it with Man City this season. You know, against Swampton, it happens to the best of us. You know, especially a League Two side. You know, we're definitely not the finished article, and you know, we've got a long way to go. But um, you know, this would be a good confidence booster for the for the lads. It's a tough place to go. Um, you know, we've there's a good gritty performance as well, which I think is amazing. And there's a good away win that we've you know, won in a while. So. Um, it was a good boost, but um, it only count if we get three points a Saturday. It's a really tight lead this year, isn't it? Yeah, um, Ginny kind of um, <laughs> made a break for it at the start, but um, they kind of got pulled back into it. Yeah. Um, we kind of missed a few opportunities lately. Um, we've had a chance to kind of consolidate that top three place, but um, that's the way it is. Um, it could be one of eight teams now at the minute, so we've got to pick up, keep on picking up the points, um, regardless of the performances. Make sure we're winning games and give ourselves a really good chance coming toward the end of the season finishing that top three. Marlon, thanks so much. Yes. Well done.
matches. Well, if if you were to stay for the rest of the season, then go. It'd be nice to go having helped the team with promotion, wouldn't it? I always said that to the gaffer. Um, you know, when it first came around, that I may have been going. I said, you know, it's a shame really because it was kind of un- not unfinished business here because it's been a success. Um, but um, you know, the the um, disappointment of last season, which you know for me is still. Unfortunately, in the back of my mind, you can't just um, get rid of things like that. So um, it would be it would be a great um, you know a great way to get promoted with Cheltenham, which you know, like I said, as far as I'm aware, my team. Um, you know, so yeah, it, you can't beat a promotion. And you know, at my age and you know, what I've kind of come through with the club, you know, the way I've matured and developed as a player, you know, it would be great for any player. Yeah, you said it hasn't been that difficult on the pitch or on the bench, apart from the Bristol Rovers game. But when you, when you, the game started today, did you did you have a little were you a little bit more fired up even than usual? Just did you just sort of feel like you're back in the team now and you had to just show that you're still focused on it? I think in a way, um, you know, for some reason I kind of you know felt I had a point to prove, you know, in some ways. Um, but you know, it's you see it on the bench, you can kind of not disrespect and you know the boys. You kind of see where you know, I felt I could have had an influence on Saturday. Um, so I just had to come on there today and. You know, the gaffer could have easily left me out again. You know, it probably went hard for him to, went easy for him to put me in. Um, maybe with Carts having an injury, it made it a little bit easier. So um, I just wanted to play football, and tonight, you know, scoring a goal and getting the lads a vital three points is, you know, you can't beat that. Yeah, I know you played with Jason Taylor a bit on Saturday, but first start with him tonight. And do, do you remember being on the receiving end of any challenges from him when you played against him? Because he, he does uh, like to win the ball, doesn't he? Yeah, um, I said, I think. We've not, we not really trained long together and it said I played 10 minutes Saturday and we had a quite a good understanding there. He's, um, he talks a lot, you know, I'm talking to him and it, it's a treat really how, how the three of us blended in there and I think it kind of set the saw out for the team as well. Um, you know, we weren't sitting back, we were kind of chasing balls and trying to win balls in there so, um, you know, he's, he's been a good addition and, you know, he gets the boys far and up, he's always talking to the lads and, you know, he's, he's be, he proved to be a good team member. Yeah, everyone would agree Russ Penn's playing well at the moment and obviously Darren Carter's a proven quality player but do you think you have missed Luke Summerfield this season because a lot of people think that he, you haven't been the same since he left do you think there's anything in that? Um, no, I'm not denying it like I said I, my, my consistency levels um, haven't been as good last year um, but that's kind of the pressure putting yourself you know, I, I had a very good season last year um, so maybe, like I said the spotlight's probably on me more You know, when I've had a OK game it, it probably looks worse than what it is um, Luke obviously was was a big miss, but um, and we did have a good um, kind of um, relationship in there. We we worked on the five midfield quite a lot with us three in there. But um, you know the kind of quality we got now with you know four you know centre midfielders, you know that I think you know at a high level, especially for Lee two, um, you know we, sh- we shouldn't be having no problems there. You have a bad game, you have a bad game. That's it. You can't say um, you know it's down to Luke not being there. It's, you know, I'm down to it's down to how I play at the end of the day. So um, yeah. you know it's, it's a bit of rubbish that, but yeah. you know he, he's a great player, so he, of course he's going to be missed. Yeah. Did you have, did you have the uh, the free kick in your mind that you scored here a couple of years ago at all when you, sh- you took the penalty to that goal tonight? <laughs> did that cross your mind at all? Because that was a, a cracking goal, here, wasn't it? Um, no, not really. Um, I just wanted to score really. Like I said, it's probably a bit more added pressure on me. Um, I had a dread to. S- I think what would have happened if I missed, but like I said, I was confident enough to take it. Um, you know, first on the grab the ball, and you know, luckily enough, Sean on the pitch because you know me and him would have been battling out. So um, yeah, that's the only good thing about it. And you know, my goal here you know, was was a decent one when I was online. Um, so yeah, it's been not a bad ground for me this, apart from last year's um, result. Yeah, final question. I mean, I've asked you the same question every time I've seen you for the last two weeks. I'm not going to ask you the same one, but whatever happens now, do you think you you'll be able to? Focus on whether it's here or or maybe you know you, you happy with whatever happens now, sort of just to take it in your stride. Yeah, listen, the gaffer you know had a brief chat with me Monday. Um, I don't know if he's changed his mind or not. Like I said, I, I don't know, but um, I want to play football. That's all I want to do at the end of the day. Um, I think I'll prove that tonight. I've nothing. Like I said it's been hard. It, you know, it would have been hard anyone, but you know, it's, n- it's not going to affect me at all. Um, you know, and it, if I stay here. Um, you know, so be it. Like, uh, I'm more than happy to. I've I'm, I'm not once said, you know, I want to leave, I want to leave. You know, I've, I'm not going to lie, of course, everyone wants to play for, um, at a high level. You know, I think there would be questions that are asked of me if um, I weren't ambitious. Um, so, of course, but like I said, I've got time on my side. I'm still only 21, so um, like I said, it, it would be great to get Cheltenham promotion, but 
I don't really know what's happening, so I'm just going to have to keep on playing it day by day at the minute. But, um, you know, if I keep on getting picked, I'll keep on trying my best. Yep. Cheers, Marlon. Appreciate